Hey everyone. So in this video of the hands-on lab masterclass, we are going to learn about how you can create multiple types of Microsoft 365 Copilot agents. When you look at agents, it's in a wide spectrum. Um, you can create these agents in multiple places where you create, define what are the capabilities of that agent and what are the knowledge sources you can attach. So this is a very detailed, super hands-on um, video demonstration. You can simply watch and pause the video and you can do it um, in your own lab or your live environment. So let me take you through what are the things which is involved in this masterclass. Primarily, we are going to learn about how you can create a personal agent for yourself. And additionally, you need to learn about a couple of things like what type of knowledge source I can attach behind this agent. Is it purely responding from large language model or can it hold data in your SharePoint or can you attach a document or can it browse these data from internet or is there any other mechanism for me to add data like graph grounding or Microsoft 365 graph etc. So we're going to learn that as well. In total, we are going to create seven types of agents. You can see on the right hand side, I listed down um, based on how you buy an iPhone these days, a uh, similar concept, like a basic agent uh, with a pro or elite type of an agent. Um, so these names are designed in such a way that further down the line, the complexity of the agent increases. So the basic one would be responding to a large language model. The complex or the elite one will have further enhanced capability as well. In the first exercise, we are going to learn how you can build a personal um, agent in the Microsoft 365. So this is what I talked about, the Copilot experience. So if you have Microsoft 365 full license for Copilot, you would see work and the web tab. So how do you access it? You can go directly to the website um, or you can click on the waffle when you sign in with your office username and password. And right at the top, you would be able to see Microsoft 365 Copilot. So click on that. So that's take you to this particular page. Additionally, on the left hand side, you can find this Copilot icon, the colorful one. Click on it, it takes you to this experience. If you have the full license, the experience looks like this. You can see the work and the web tab. You can ask questions. So the topic today is not going through the entire Copilot. That's a different video altogether. Uh, what we are trying to learn is how to create or build or make our first agent in this uh, Copilot experience. So if you look at on the right hand rail, you can see that there is few agents available called agent called Visual Creator and few other agents. Similarly, you can see there is a get agent option. If you click on that, it will allow you to go through the list of agents built by third party or built by Microsoft and you can pretty much go and like click on that agent, click on add. That is going to make that agent available for you as a user. So now um, instead of the regular copilot, you have using an agent called writing coach. This writing coach is designed to help you improve your writing and things like that. You can see that there are some prompt which is already available called critique my writing. So if you provide detail and constructive feedback on a piece of writing and you provide a document or add additional content, it is gonna, let's look at if I can add a file, I'm gonna add this particular document. And if I say, hey, provide a detail and constructive feedback on this piece of writing. So now this writing coach is designed to actually critique and improve our writing standards and things like that. So now it is going through the whole section of the document. It has gone through a lot of content and um, let's scroll down. So overall feedback, uh, it is telling, hey, this document is well written and informative. Then it is telling, hey, to further improve the document, focus on consistency, clarity and visual aids, breaking down dense section into manageable subsections, things like that. So this agent is designed to particularly provide uh, information on that. Additionally, if I click on new chat, it can find out the tone of an email or a message, translate a particular piece of text and things like that. So an agent 
is designed to do specific task based on what you are making that agent to do. So now we have seen how you can find an agent and add an agent to use it. Now let's go and learn how you can create an agent. So just underneath the get agent, there is a create an agent option. So if you click on create an agent, first you can see there are some templates made by Microsoft. Um, you can see that there are career coach. This template is already designed. So if I choose this template automatically while creating this agent. So if they come and ask these question, hey, what courses and certification workshop would you recommend for someone to grow professionally? Uh, this is supposed to go and get that information uh, back to me. So now uh, this career coach is telling, hey, to provide you with the best recommendation, could you please describe your current role? So if I go and tell my current role is Azure admin in my organization and if I say sent it. So first it is recommending is Azure administrator course, then Azure solutions architect, things like that. Uh, what are the other courses I can do? There are Azure uh, beginner course, um, Azure administration and where I can find workshop details and things like that. So this is really good in terms of helping somebody with their career and things like that. So if I click on new chat, there are other cards as well, which I can ask like skill gap analysis. I can say that, hey, analyze my current skill and identify gap that I need to fill to advance my career. So when it when I ask this, it is going to ask a bunch of questions to me to analyze the skill gap and things like that. So it is telling, hey, I'm happy to help you with that. To get started, could you please provide me with following details and things like that? What you do, your current role, responsibility, so that it can give me helpful suggestions on short term and long term. So if this is something which I want to, these templates are already available. So you can use that as an agent itself. But if you want to use the essence of this and you want to build um, additional agent on top of it you can click on configure so when you click on configure you can uh, go and modify the name instead of career coach you can change it to something else you can change the icon from this to something different change the description uh, because you are going to use the template it is going to automatically fill all these uh, details for you and instruction uh, instruction is nothing but how you are telling this agent to behave if you look at this instruction of this agent it clearly laid out the purpose. So the purpose is you are an expert career coach providing growth suggestions and the goal is to understand the user's current role and things like that. So it is pretty self-explanatory and very descriptive. Um, you can provide as much instructions as you want or can. You can see that you can go uh, and give up to 8,000 characters. Then there is a knowledge part. So herein you can come and attach a particular knowledge source. This could be a public website. If you remember at the beginning of this exercise, I told you the knowledge source, what you can attach varies based on how you create it and where you create it. For this personal agent at the moment, the knowledge sources are either the SharePoint repository or you can scroll down and attach a public URL. So you can attach a public website and but when you do that you need to turn this on the web search that allow you to add a public website and then if you scroll down this is what i talked about the microsoft 365 graph connector for my organization i have already made these things available like a confluence connector some enterprise uh, connector to connect into different external websites and things like that that is already indexed Jira is already part of it. ServiceNow is already part of it. That doesn't mean you cannot add other knowledge sources. There are so many other knowledge sources are also available. Um, I will create a separate video on showing you how you can attach um, additional knowledge sources and things like that. So that's the knowledge source. Soon you will be able to add actions as well. Um, actions will allow you to define some other ingredients within the agent to perform based on a logic and things like that and towards the end of the introduction session i talked about two additional capabilities we have added called code interpreter what it does is when you use this it can convert the natural language into code to create visualization solve math problems and analyze data things like that 
similarly there is an image in the image generator as well so here you can actually um, use natural language your prompt and that can be converted into creating images or art things like that and at the bottom of the screen you can find there are startup prompt so this is nothing but if i click on new chat did you see the startup prompt startup prompts are giving an ability for anybody who is using this agent in this case you are creating a personal agent for yourself but you don't want to type in these prompt every time when you interact with this agent if you don't want to uh, uh, type in that and you just want these uh, cards like this prompt available for you as soon as you open the agent then you can provide a title of what that agent is and provide the whole section of what that prompt is so you can type in a whole set of detail then you have an ability to move this order so when you do that the order of the prompt on the right hand side also changes so when you, whenever you go to that agent um, it has these um, already pre-populated prompts for you so these are the things what it is available when you um, use a template if you want to add a new thing you can add but it has a limitation of only six uh, so if i delete a few of the prompt i will be able to add a new prompt as well i can give a new title new message and that will be automatically added so that's how you can use an existing template so i'm going to close this we are not going to use an existing template we are going to start from scratch 